Molly Pesci, and this is Barnes & Noble Tagged. Olympic fever has put China in the spotlight, and today we're going beyond Beijing, into the heart and soul of China, with some books that will entertain, educate, and illuminate readers to the wonders of this ancient country. First, from Simon Winchester, the best-selling author of The Professor and the Madman and Krakatoa, comes The Man Who Loved China, the extraordinary true story of Joseph Needham, the brilliant scientist who unlocked the most closely held secrets of China. It's an amazing history, with a side dish of adultery tossed in. The Last Days of Old Beijing by journalist Michael Meyer is part memoir, part history, and part call to action. Having lived for two years in one of Beijing's oldest neighborhoods, Meyer's watched as, just in time for the Olympics, centuries of life and culture are bulldozed to make way for shopping centers and high rises. During the Olympics, there will no doubt be many features on tourist sites, but we've tagged a book that adds new meaning to Off the Beaten Path. Lost on Planet China, the strange and true story of one man's attempt to understand the world's most mystifying nation, or how he became comfortable eating live squid, comes to us from J. Martin Troost, who also penned Getting Stoned with Savages and The Sex Lives of Cannibals. His latest experience to meet the page is a profile of a complex, fascinating country with enough dangers and delicacies to keep him and readers endlessly entertained. As a freelance journalist and food writer living in Beijing, Jen Lin Liu already had a ringside seat for China's exploding food scene. In Serve the People, a stir-fried journey through China, Lin Liu gives a memorable and mouth-watering cook's tour of today's China as she progresses from cooking student to apprentice at a chic Shanghai restaurant, then on to become the founder of the Black Sesame Cooking School. It's a taste of contemporary China during the full swing of social and economic transformation. The novel we've tagged this week has been banned in China because of its criticism of the government. But here in the United States, we're free to read this very powerful book. Ma Jian's 1987 novella, Stick Out Your Tongue, was called bourgeois pornography by the Chinese government, and all of his future work was banned there, including his latest novel, Beijing Coma. It's the story of Dai Wei, a student at Beijing University who was struck in the head by a bullet during the Tiananmen Square massacre. Due to his anti-government affiliations, he's not allowed in a hospital and his mother tends to him, selling his organs to pay for medicine. He is in a coma for 10 years. When he wakes, China has also undergone a massive transformation in the time. Dai Wei realizes that the rich, imaginative world afforded to him as a coma patient is a startling contrast to the death and life of the world outside. Now that we've tagged these great books for you, we want to know what type of books about China interest you the most. Go to bn.com slash tagged and cast your vote. We'll let you know the results next week. Last week, we asked you what type of products do you use the most to make learning fun for your little ones? The majority of you said board and picture books. Thanks so much for watching. I know what my afternoon's going to be. Getting lost on planet China. See you next time on Barnes & Noble Tag. This looks good.